comes as no great surprise to most that within the walls of Cardiff's serially beautiful castle are stories of hauntings from years gone by. Built upon Roman and later Norman ruins, Cardiff Castle is a true piece of art from the mid-1800s Victorian Gothic period. We can date the Roman fort back as far as 50 AD, while the castle itself was completed following the Norman conquest. It has a deep connection to the Welsh capital, while being a mysterious mansion has quite the reputation. Our first ghost is that of the phantom coach and horses. This ghostly image is said to manifest to many people. A newspaper article from 1956 states that a man called David Brecon reported hearing the jingle of a harness, the clatter of horse hooves, followed by the sound of a bell and the voice of a man with an Irish accent emanating from Canton Bridge. As he was attempting to understand what was happening, an apparition of a coach and four horses passed him by, turned left into the castle gate doors and disappeared. He was not alone in experiencing such phenomenon. Many years earlier, in 1886, a man named Boyle witnessed the same. He was sitting in the castle library at the time when he heard a coach and horses arrive. He was then informed by the butler of the mansion that no coach had come. While such a phantom can instill interest, it must be cautioned that many believe that the sighting is a harbinger of death, as some who have seen it have experienced a death in their family shortly after. Our second ghost story connected to Cardiff Castle is that of the Marquis of Butte. The Marquis of Butte, also known as John Crichton Stewart, was a wealthy coal and iron magnate, an aristocrat living in Wales, and who was instrumental in the construction of the Cardiff docks. His family were proprietors of the castle for over six generations. In 1848, he died suddenly following a massive banquet. He was preparing for bed in his dressing chamber, which was a small room behind the library. Years later, this area was converted into a small church. His bust was placed on the very spot where he died. On many occasions, the custodian would see his ghost and recognize him instantly thanks to the bust. His ghost is said to appear dressed in a red coat, and he is said to walk through the fireplace and even the six-foot-thick wall of the castle. Our next story is that of a ghostly soldier. We don't have much information on who he was, but he did shock one member of the public that did come into contact with him. In the 1990s, a visitor to the castle was taking part in a guided tour. As they passed into the area where all the military uniforms and equipment are displayed to the public, the visitor was listening to the tour guide when he noticed something out of the corner of his eye. It was a soldier dressed in one of the uniforms. The soldier grinned at the visitor, and when the guest turned to his friend to highlight the strange situation, the soldier disappeared. The visitor inquired about what he thought was a staff member in costume, but was told by the guide that members of staff do not dress up in uniforms. Who was this soldier, and why was he grinning? It is not clear how many female ghosts haunt Cardiff Castle. A mysterious woman, who has been named locally as the Grey Lady, but whose true identity remains unknown, can be seen silently floating past the castle in a long grey dress. She is also being witnessed on the bridge over the river Taff, where some have said that she stops and signals in the direction of the castle. Is she looking for someone, or perhaps waiting for a lost love to return? Witnesses say she always looks towards the castle, and what is extra strange about her is that she appears in both daylight and at dusk. Our final ghost is that of a woman without a face. During paranormal investigations with the use of psychics and mediums, the name of Sarah has come forth. She has been seen as a full-body apparition in different parts of the castle. Witnesses have said that she even rearranges objects in the storerooms which she is said to be most active in. Cardiff Castle is not just full of history, but full of spirits who are desperate to tell us their stories. But are you willing to listen? Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?